I don't want to get too personal. Of but course. Somebody um, ended up contacting some some people mm -hmm. claiming to be me, mm. and yeah, it they they felt very iffy and they felt very uncomfortable. So they reached out to other people that I've worked with. Yeah. And then they asked them like, "Oh, have you worked with Enzo before?" Mm. And Culture Talk for this afternoon, as promised, a very special guest in the studio uh, for today. Enzo Yankees is a multidisciplinarian creative who dabbles in expressions of photography, animation, filmmaking, and sound engineering. The Namibian-born innovative enthusiast draws inspiration from life's nuances and depictions, be it sound to textures. And Enzo continues to live his art as a sound operator at the Namibia Namibian Broadcasting Corporation and by expanding his knowledge base at the Namibian University of Science and Technology in Computer Science. A devoted citizen to the artistry sphere, Enzo is delighted by the challenges creatives face in defining the spaces they take up, ever-changing, ever-evolving arts. Wow, what an introduction. The person is in the studio right now, finally meeting him in person as well. Enzo, good afternoon and welcome to 99 FM. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. <laughs> it's your first time on the show. Show, right yes first on time. my show ultimately yes. yeah so you are this uh, this photographer who's doing all of this amazing work tell us a bit about yourself um well I, I've been in the industry for about 10 years Whoa, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> mostly behind the scenes mostly um, I prefer to be like a ghost mm -hmm. you know I just pop in and disappear again and then people are like oh they, they they've heard or seen mm -hmm. about me you know mm -hmm. and then yeah um, I've just been dabbling in a lot of arts, mm. a lot of um, film stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think people only know me for photography. photography. Yeah, I think yeah. for me, like I said uh, off air, that I only see, I only saw you on Instagram. So I'm like, yay, yay, I'm finally meeting this person <laughs> in person. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we, we, we have been following the uh, trademark campaign by Beba that they recently uh, mm. launched called Own Your Mark, Protect Your Brand. What does this slogan or this phrase mean? Own your mark mean to you? Okay, so it's like um, let's just break it down mm -hmm. because own your mark. People don't quite understand that you you need to trademark yeah. your 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 work, and owning your mark is part of that trademark. Mm -hmm. So if you have a logo, that is your mark basically, and you know people can use it, you know maliciously. Yeah. So for you to own it, you can protect yourself. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, people can't monetize or um, make money off of your off of your your name mm. or your your um, yeah your logo your, your ultimately logo, yeah. yeah have you have you why why do you feel the need why do you think there is a need to protect your brand by trademarking it so unfortunately there is a lot of like scammers out there mm -hmm. Th that's um, true that's true. like right now you know, you'll hear it all over the news, all over the radio, all over social media. Mm. That there's always like some sort of employee from uh, maybe even F and B mm. or these big, you know, um, telecom or you know. And then they're always saying, "Oh, you have to, you've got people calling in and scamming them." Yeah. And it's not really representatives of these companies. Mm. So having a trademark you can actually take some sort of legal action yes. into protecting yourself at the speaking end of, the of day. legal action it brings me to my next question have you ever been in a situation where where someone you know used your work uh without your knowledge or consent yeah unfortunately that has happened to mm. me before and how did you deal with it oh that's that was that was a weird part because we can't you can't really go to a lawyer and say, oh, this is happening. And then they ask, okay, so what legal ground do you have? Mm. You know, that's ultimately the, that's what the lawyer is going to ask. Yeah. What legal ground do you have to this trademark or to this name mm. or to this logo? Mm. And if you can't give them anything, you can't protect yourself. Yeah. At all. So this is kind of like that, that legal framework to say, this yeah, is the proof this is, that this, this is, is, proof, is, this yes. is mine. And you can't really like mm. use it to to uh, make money off of yes. it or or defame it or yeah. so. So in 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 your own experience, uh, someone that person that used your so your somebody yeah. ended up. I don't want to get too personal. Of but course, somebody um, ended up contacting some some people mm -hmm. claiming to be me, mm. and yeah, it they they felt very iffy and they felt very 
uncomfortable so they reached out to other people that I've worked with yeah and then they asked them like oh have you worked with Enzo before mm. and these people were like yeah they have yeah. it was a great experience <laughs> and they're like yeah but I'm not really getting that vibe so <laughs> then they had to like look at the, yeah. the cell phone number just to, to make see. sure mm. is it really the, the same the Enzo? right person and yeah then they were like no this is not Enzo uh. so then they called me up and then they told me about the whole situation and I was like I'm so sorry that this had to happen yeah you know? and I had to like put out a whole statement on social media saying sorry guys this is not me and I mean like I'm so ghost like so even if people did not know or even if people did go for this mm. they wouldn't have known who the real end well, was yeah. so I have to like really protect myself speaking okay day. so let me ask you this then so what did you trademark you trademarked the Enzo the, the, logo. the, logo, the logo and not the name yeah okay name. All right. so the logo is trademarked mm -hmm. Um, and it encompasses everything I do in the media industry. Okay. So if I'm taking photos, if I'm doing sound, if I'm doing animation, mm. if I'm doing film, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm covered for covered that. Covered for that. So okay. if anybody wants to use my trademark or my logo claiming to be me mm. when I am not involved, mm. I can take it to court. So when someone comes to you and say, hey, Enzo, I want to use your logo. I'm willing to pay for it. Are you, are you, would you want to do something like that? Because, I mean, that, that's ultimately how, how, how it goes. I, I mean, if someone, let's say someone loves your logo or loves the Enzo brand and wants mm -hmm. to use the brand for something that they want to do, but still right. coming to you and say, hey, we love what you're doing and we want to use your, your, your brand and we, wa we, we want to work with you. Yeah. Has that happened? I think, I think if, if I'm approached first, mm. that is a different story. Yeah. Um, as as opposed to having somebody do it behind my back, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's like a different a story. different story. Yeah, that's like stealing <laughs> almost. Yeah. And so I think you know uh, a pertinent question is 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 the process of of you know uh, registering your trademark. Is the process time consuming? It's not necessarily time consuming. It does take a while. It mm. does really take a while because um, you end up registering your trademark and beeper first has to make sure that you can like it's not owned by anybody else so that process takes a while um i think it takes about 10 years yeah or five years mm -hmm. i'm not sure i i have to go i, I speak under correction of course, i yeah. speak under correction um but it is it does take a while but as soon as you as you start to apply you're already protected mm -hmm. the protection starts immediately and then they can make sure that you can have this this um your logo is trademarked i mean it's not just logos that get mm -hmm. trademarked um it's also phrases um certain phrases that people can use mm -hmm. um yeah and stuff like that yeah. and so before we let you go just you know to encourage other creatives um on the importance of of trademarking if you had a, a message for creatives right now mm -hmm. tell them why they should trademark their work and their brand i would say just you know tra go and trademark your brand to protect yourself so if somebody tries to use your name without your knowledge mm -hmm. or tries to use your brand without your knowledge or um, defend, tries to or makes money speak, from or of it. Tries to make money off mm -hmm. from it. Yeah, and you don't know about it. I mean, that's money that could have gone into your into business. your pocket. Yeah. yeah, it's so true. You can you can definitely take some sort of legal action and hire a lawyer and mm -hmm. say that you have a solid case, mm -hmm. and that will that would help one hundred percent. Before we let you go officially, where can we follow you on social media in case someone would like to hire you for for work? for work mm -hmm. so i'm on instagram mostly um on enzo's arts uh you guys can catch me out uh at enzo's enzo's dot arts mm -hmm. um and if you guys just want to vibe and chill um i'm also <laughs> on underscore vibe and chill, enzo, yes enzo, DJ. <laughs> enzo thank you so much uh, for coming to chat with us and i definitely would like to work with you very soon so i might just holla slide in your dm real soon so just watch out for that okay <laughs> It was a really, really good pleasure to have you in studio. Thank you so much, Reza. That was, of course, Culture Talk here on Treza in the Afternoon with Enzo Yankees, who he is a lot of things. And if you miss out on this interview um, and you want to get to know him, you can, of course, listen to the interview again um, on the 99FM app. It is Beeper's latest awesome uh, initiative, the trademark campaign called Own Your Mark, Protect Your Brand. Very important as creative to trademark your work. And I hope this information helps you understand why it is so important. We head back to the tunes, so keeping it local with this one. It's Emily Jones, No Way on 99. Hey.